Hello, uh, I'm Electric Richard and today I'm going to be talking about GTA 5. Now as I'm sure you're aware the GTA 5 trailer has just been released, at least the first GTA 5 trailer has just been released and it looks good, oh it looks good. But you know we expect no less from Rockstar North, they're a, they're a very good developer, even, even when they were called DMA Design and they were making lemmings back on the Amiga. <laughs> ah the old days. And of course all the GTAs have been very well made, pretty much, they pretty much defined open world gaming uh, and the stories have been fantastic, voice acting top notch well, in the later games. So GTA 5 has a lot to live up to. And from what we've been seeing on the trailer, of course, it looks like it's going to carry on that fantastic legend, but there's something that is bothering me a little bit about GTA 5, at least the things that we've been told about it so far. The first is the size of the map. Now we're being told the map is absolutely huge. HUGE! And you know that's great. Uh, I like a big GTA game. I loved San Andreas. Um, I liked GTA 4, it was nice, but uh, San Andreas just... I got used to that world better. GTA 4 was a little trickier. I still don't know the map on that, even though I've played that game to death. Um, well, to sort of half-life. It's sort of like a bleeding dead horse rather than a dead horse. There was things about GTA 4 I didn't quite like, but we'll come back to that in a minute. Um, I hope that GTA 5 is more is playable like San Andreas was playable. That's kind of what I'm looking for. You see, the problem with GTA 4 wasn't the story. That was good. It wasn't the characters. They were good. It wasn't the choices, like cars and guns and weapons and all the, all the uh, many different multiplayer modes. No, they were all absolutely fine. What sucked about GTA 4 was the physics. Yeah, now, stay with me on this, okay? Just stay with me. The physics in a GTA game can make or break a GTA game. GTA 4, for instance, was set in uh, Liberty City, or, or New York, as we don't call it. <laughs> and it was massive, as I've already said. The problem with GTA 4 was the physics. Uh, the cars handled like they were driving around on the moon. They were sluggish, they were slow. And it meant that the replay value, for me at least, was tiny, absolutely tiny. And though I enjoyed some of the online games like um, Gumball Madness, whatever it was, we had to get from one side of the island to the other in any way you saw fit. Because of the poor handling and those fuzzy physics, I wasn't driven to really keep playing it. Which is a shame because I played the heck out of GTA San Andreas. I thought that was brilliant. The physics in that game was perfect. So I hope that GTA 5 does the same because otherwise I'm gonna be putting it down as soon as I finish the story and that would be a shame. Now, while some are saying that GTA 5 will be about four or five times the size of San Andreas, I'll believe that when I see it. I'm sure it's going to be absolutely huge. The other problem with massive maps like that, of course, is how good the graphics are. Now, great graphics, really tight, high resolution graphics means the game is going to slow down. And we all know the Xbox 360 and the PS3 are reaching the end of their, of their power cycle, you might say. They, they've, they've hit their high point. There's not much more those, those uh, machines can do. So how can a game as fantastically detailed as GTA 5 is claiming to be really work well on those machines? In the past, GTA got around this by making sure the graphics were sort of staggered. So the further away the graphics were, the less detailed they were. The closer they are, the higher resolution. It meant if you were driving really quickly, you could see this refresh happen as you, as you drove, depending on where you put your iron line. Now, these are small niggles, granted, but they're the kind of things that will come to bear as we play GTA 5 over and 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 over again, which I want to, I really, really want to. I do like the GTA games. But if those graphics are slow and the thing is sluggish, again, it's a bit like going back to GoldenEye on the N64 after we've been playing Battlefield and Halo for so long. My, those frame rates were awful. How on earth did you put up with them? How? If you know how you put up with them, please, drop me a message on the comments below. I'd like to know. Personally, I just think it was because we were, we were younger then, more naive. We didn't know what high frame rates were, but, but now we do. So Rockstar North, produce these great trailers all you like. Use in-game footage if you want, but don't make me think that the game's gonna be some super smooth, slick next generation wonder fest, when really what you're doing is releasing GTA 4 with many more tweaks thrown in. I wanna play a GTA 5 that I can play over and over again, I really do. So please make sure the physics works, the graphics are not too good, not high, high quality, but reasonable quality so that the frame rate is high. And lastly, that the DLC model is nothing like Halo 4's or the Call of Duty's or the Battlefield's, please. So please, please Rockstar North, I don't want a DLC model which makes me want to 
pull my hair out, which makes me want to wish I'd never bought GTA 5. I want a DLC model which is actually exactly the same as GTA 4. Please. Please. And also, while you're at it, Rockstar North, perhaps one of the uh, three playable characters can be female, not all male. Now, that's, that's something that you might want to think about. Diversifying there. <laughs> yeah. And come to think of it, the other thing that might bother me about GTA 5 is all the merchandise. There was quite a lot of merchandise for GTA 4. Merchandise that I didn't get my hands on because it was expensive and rare. Hmm? So no more rare stuff, please. If you're going to release GTA baseball bats and GTA keyrings and GTA speakers, I want to be able to get hold of them myself. Do you understand? Don't make them so exclusive. Okay, maybe one or two things can be exclusive. It's, it's nice to have exclusive things every now and again, isn't it? But I am looking forward to those car chases, those online long car chases, cops versus robbers, gangs versus gangs. It should be a lot of fun. And I look forward to playing with you guys online too. So again, drop me a message if you're thinking of getting GTA 5. What are you looking forward to? What are you dreading about it? What do you think is gonna absolutely blow your mind? What do you think is gonna make you cry? I have been and always shall be Electric Richard. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please don't forget to tweet me. Please don't forget to subscribe to me. And please don't forget to leave some comments down there. I like reading your comments. They're, they're rather nice. Um, if you are thinking about GTA 5, just remember that uh, it's just a game, okay? No one wants to see you growing tattoos and becoming a gang member. That's, that's for other people to do, not for you. No, you and I know better than that. So, um, so please, please don't let me down.